Now, YouTube family, we got breaking news and breaking news that's going real fast. Apparently, one of the suspects, which is Shondell Barnett, he has been let go and released. But the news that we're going to break is that he is now being charged. Well, I'm going to do three separate videos. One, he is being charged with the murder of Dolph as well, not just for driving the getaway car to Indiana, but he was let go and released. And now he's wanted in Memphis. That's what we're going to talk about, him being wanted in Memphis. Let's start the breaking news right away. And y'all know what to do. Hit the like button and notification bell. You heard? Make sure you go follow my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one and come be part of the fastest growing movement. Let's go. Okay, so apparently we got a crisis situation going on out here. Before I get started with the relatively news, I feel like let's start it the right way and play the video of the situation at hand. Salute to the entire group that's watching. The Young Dolph murder case. There is an active warrant for first degree murder and attempted first degree murder for a third suspect. Shondell Barnett was in the car when U.S. Marshals arrested the murder suspect Justin Johnson in Indiana last month. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre found out Barnett was in jail but was freed. In January, U.S. Marshals arrested Justin Johnson, one of two men Memphis police named as their main suspects in the murder of Young Dolph at a gas station in Indiana. Marshall said Shondell Barnett was in the passenger seat of the car Johnson was driving. After the announcement of Johnson's arrest, law enforcement in Shelby County told the media Johnson and Barnett would soon be extradited back to Shelby County to face charges. Johnson made it back to Shelby County a few days after his arrest. According to jail and court records, Shondell Barnett never made it. This is Jeremy Pierre from Fox 13. I called the Clay County Sheriff's Office in Indiana where Barnett was in custody. Clay County told me they released Barnett on January 21st. I called the Shelby County Sheriff's Office who confirmed the warrant for Barnett included charges of murder and attempted murder is active. I've also reached out to Shelby County General Sessions Court to learn what's next for Barnett. According to the Memphis Police Department, the U.S. Marshal Service issued the warrant. I reached out to the U.S. Marshal Service about the warrant. They told me on January 11, 2022, which is the day they arrested Barnett, they issued a warrant for Barnett's arrest for accessory after the fact. Because that investigation is still open, they say it, they cannot comment further. We are working to find out where Barnett may be and if he'll still face those charges here in Shelby County. In Memphis, at 201, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13 News. Now, so far, Johnson and Cornelius Smith have both been charged in Dolph's murder. Investigators have said that more people could still be charged in this case. Now, you see things are heating up quickly. Things are getting out of control. Now, we're going to do a separate video about the release of Shondell Barnett to go to the source of it and what happened in the mistakes of the Indiana court system also favoring the Memphis court system with MPD and the public officials now let's fast forward now we know Shondell Barnett was one of the guys allegedly to drive away uh Justin Johnson which is aka straight drop we do have breaking news that allegedly they are cousins I'm gonna do that on a separate video now U.S. Marshall said that Barnett was wanted in several places and they've been trying to catch him for a good minute now but he's been on a fast run and it's kind of you know hard to get him to the situations and areas where they need him now Shondell Barnett they're saying that he was not just a getaway driver for this situation he is also now uh wanted in the murder of young dog he is not being looked at a guy who did the drive situation and he got away with it they're saying there was more things behind it he actually uh, uh, um he helped he occupied the the suspects with the weapons allegedly he was in the cahoots situation as far as planning so this guy is being 
charge with everything you could think of. And, and that's some of the things that we kind of knew was going to happen. When you looked at the murder situation, it was more things in it. Uh, besides the fact of him being killed, you got to look at the outcome of it that they like to say or talk about. You got to know that this situation is not going to end good before it ends bad or however the saying goes. Now, the new developments were that Young Dolph case was that Marshalls was looking for Shondell Barnett. A source and a family member allegedly said he was uh, down the street getting ready to come in into court as far as Memphis, but that was not the case. The Indiana courts let him go. They released him a little bit too early. And that early travesty is now costing a lot of people a lot of bad situation. Let's go to another news source information. Involved in the murder of Memphis rapper Young Dolph is still on the run. He was arrested in Indiana, released, and then never brought back to Memphis for extradition. Action News 5's Ariana Poindexter has been digging into this case and joins us in the studio with the very latest. Ariana. Well, Kanji Shondell Barnett was arrested in Indiana on January 11th, but released on January 21st without extradition to Memphis. I've been reaching out to different law enforcement agencies all day, working to find out what led to his release. It's been four months since Memphis rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed outside a local cookie shop. Since then, two suspects have been arrested in connection to his murder, and now a warrant is out for a third suspect, Shondell Barnett. Barnett is charged with being an accessory after the fact of first-degree murder after allegedly helping Justin Johnson, one of the men accused of killing Young Dolph, after the murder. Deputies in Clay County, Indiana, say Barnett and Johnson were arrested on January 11th at a truck stop. Johnson was extradited to Memphis, while Barnett was released on January 21st. Action News 5 reached out to the U.S. Marshals, Memphis Police, and Shelby County District Attorney General Amy Ryrick to clarify why Barnett was let go. When asked at a press conference Thursday, District Attorney Amy Wyrick had this to say. I can't because it's a pending case. It is a pending investigation. It is a pending prosecution, and we can't get into that at this time. When we can, we will answer all of those questions that I know the public has. But Meanwhile, Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis says she's grateful for the community's help in solving murders like this. A lot of the success that we had even in the Young Dolph case and some of the other cases is that our community members are providing information about criminal activity in their neighborhoods. I quite frankly believe that some of our community members have had it enough and they want to be more engaged too. So. Well, if you know anything about the whereabouts of Shondell Barnett, you were asked to contact the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. In the studio, I'm Ariana Poindexter. Action. In other words, they want, if you know the whereabouts of Cuzzo, they want you to tell. But we, we don't do all that extra here, man. Look, the whole situation with Dolph situation, it goes hand in hand with a lot of culprits. But everything is still allegedly, and a lot of things are transpiring out of control as far as evidence, time, and date. But... What they're probably going to do is squeeze information out of all these suspects. And the fact that Shondell hit the dash on them, that further led straight drop case to look more downhill. Cornelius Smith case to look more downhill. I can tell you this right now. This was the worst that you can do in a case like this. Let's just get that part out the way. Wherever Shondell is at, I hope he understands it was more better to fight it then you you feel me like because at the end of the day if you don't got that bag on you or got connections out the country or even able to leave the country because how you gonna leave through the airports unless you got that woo power on you you feel what i'm saying other than that you kind of dig a nail in a coffin for yourself i personally feel that way it's hard to be vindicated when you're a fool also i'm not trying to throw jabs at anybody but this case is going to be longer than what you guys think because young Dolph wasn't just anybody out here Dolph is a necessary to fight fight for justice fight for rights if it's making sense to any one of y'all this case is going to be a trans a uh, spiral situation that's gonna have MPD looking at everybody. You're gonna have more people getting arrested and they might be innocent, but best believe more people will be uh, arrested through this case and this situation. And it's unfortunate, it's sad all the way. You can look at it a different outlook, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Man, he was an amazing father. He was an amazing example of what a man should be to my son and how a man should treat his daughter.
for his a wife and 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 just to treat his daughter to to edify her and tell her how special she is and how beautiful she is and how chocolate her skin is and to never be inferior because of those things he gave her so much confidence and breathed that in her and she's only four and i can just see all that he poured into both of my children before his passing and i'm so grateful i'm grateful to have experienced him and I'm grateful that the world can see him for who he truly is, not the persona that most people saw him as for being, but for who he truly is. Look, man, I'm your guy, DJ Bless One. Make sure you love your family and your kids and you stay blessed. The gates are open and the demons are coming in. They're coming at, at an all-time fast rate. You understand? If Dolph could be touched, then my bros and my family, you guys could be touched. Educational purpose. This is the situation that happens. We get a hold of ourselves and we forget we're all connected in this one big community of family. Never lose your grips on things and in life itself. Because this is truly a depressing educational purpose. Sad day when mayhem can go like that and it can go... You, you feel me? In a situation where you don't even know. Now, buddy, it done hit the dash. And who knows what family member's educational purpose might get touched because he hit the dash. We're going to have a new video about why he was released. And not only that, about him being cousins with Straight Drop. Make sure you guys find the information and lead to that source of information. Look, man, follow my Instagram, DJ underscore bless one, so y'all could be part of this fastborn movement. Make sure you join my live streams on ig and youtube we had a tremendous versus salute to y'all who participated do the facebook thing go to my single man down make sure you go to my twitter as well and never forget i'm rocking with y'all all the way salute gang peace